All right, coming up next year, we have Ron Mann dancing Christmas trees that move to the music. This will be impressive. Well, it looks like they're they're on beat with each other. I mean, they're they're shaking. They're moving. Doing what they're supposed to be doing. All right, we got a little bit of time here, Steve. Let's go back to our previous story where we had to cut you off when the mayor came. Oh yeah. So yeah, the Sheboygan JCs have all kinds of events throughout the year. Uh, earlier in the year, we have Lunch with Bunny. We have uh, Tourney of Taverns. We have um, biggest uh, two events are Brat Days and uh, Dominion of Terror Haunted House. Uh, but here, late into uh, the year, we have the Holiday Parade. So we have uh, numerous activities throughout the year. Do, don't you guys do that? Uh, isn't there some golf tournament or something you guys do? Oh yes, the golf tournament as well. I'm not a golfer, so ex excuse me. No problem, Steve. So what you're saying is they just we just do so much, it's hard to keep track of everything. That's one way of putting it, John. All right, up next here, UW Sheboygan. Oh, look at that, the Wombat is running the sleigh. There was a time when I went to the UW Sheboygan, Steve. It was a great start to my college education. Hey, we all have to start somewhere, and uh, starting local is the best way to go sometimes. Oh, what's this coming next to my ears? Uh, it looks like Midwest Communications. 106.5 The Buzz. One loud car. <laughs> Looks like the next one here is going to be the uh, maybe the B93, the B93 truck, also from Midwest Communications. A little bit more dressed up than the first one here, the flashing lights, but not as loud. <laughs> And finally, WXCR 104.5, the point coming up, the last one. Okay, it looks like we have uh, Sheboygan South High Cheer and Stunt. And they are loud. You're a part of the Cheer and Stunt team, Steve, in high school? Uh, not really. I never was good at the bottom of the pyramid. I've seen it. They do some crazy stuff. Following them, we have the Sheboygan South High School Band. Well, here's the dance team here in oh. front of them. They're not on our list either, but yeah. I recognize them. They look like dancers, so it must be the dance team. Yep, they're just in reverse order. 
All right, once again, I'm gonna put the mic up and let you guys listen to some nice music. Next year, Dr. Timothy Kaufman. Dressed up really festive here. I love it. Everyone in a costume, looking good. I believe he's from the Sheboygan Smile Center, John. Thank you, Steve. They're not on our list either. We had to make that one up. Oh, I didn't even catch that, Steve. They're all dressed like teeth. Nice, I like that. I think we have a rogue entry here as well. I don't know what he was from. All right, next up, Dancecape Ballet Company. Sudero School of Dance returns to the Stephanie Wells Center with her student production of The Nutcracker, December 3rd and 4th. The float you see carries scenes and characters from that upcoming show. Oh wow, nice flatbed here with uh, all kinds of characters. Some mice, nutcrackers. And what is this, a trolley. We have Discovery Coach. Steve, if you had to take a guess, how many passengers would you think fit on that coach? Uh, I'd have to say 28, John. Steve, you're right on this time. Nice job on doing your homework. Discovery Coach also has motor coaches from 16 passengers all the way up to 56. They always do a nice job of decorating that also. It looks good. I think next year I'm going to ride on the trolley rather than stand out here in uh, freezing weather. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, following them we have uh, Vinyl Graphics. Presented by the employees of Vinyl Graphics of Oostburg. The celebration of the holidays with a festive gingerbread house. Now, Steve, I'm going to say this is one cool-looking gingerbread house. Much better than mine ever looked. Yeah, I, I would never eat the ones I make. This one right here, I would eat right now. <laughs> and following them, we have Chevy Car and Sign, which is written in by the Sheboygan JC president, Jake Sontag, and... Family. Look again, John. Well, he's walking. He's behind it. That a boy. Let's see if I can get a word with him. Hey, Merry Christmas! <laughs> Happy holidays! Welcome, sir. Hi, John. How are you today? I'm great. With great. me, I have the 2011 JC President Jake Sontag. Jake, any word for the uh, the 40, 50,000 people here tonight? Hey, enjoy the holiday season. Have a safe and happy and joyous holiday season. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Well, thanks for taking time, Jay. I know you've, I know you've been busy all year. Oh, almost done. Thanks for thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Christmas, happy holidays. You like this? Oh, 
Okay, my sheet says this is coolest cardiology. Coolest cardiology lights up many hearts. Happy holidays from doctors, coolest, Horth, and the entire staff of coolest cardiology. Following Coolis, we have Emmanuel Lutheran. Emmanuel Lutheran is new to the holiday parade this year, but has been in Sheboygan for over 100 years. It's located on the corner of 17th and Illinois. This hidden gem offers traditional church services on Saturday evenings and Sunday mornings. And it's, they have day school from K through 8th grade. Nice little nativity scene there, John. That is nice. Next, it looked like we have the Early Learning Center, an old-fashioned Christmas, a display of oversized toys from years past, put together by friends and family of the Early Learning Center, Sheboygan Area School District, sponsored by Meyer Motors of Plymouth and Plymouth Foam. And here we go. The second last entry is going to be the U.S. Post Office. The local Sheboygan mail carriers coming here, down, walking down here, picking up letters for the boys and girls, and they are going to deliver them right to Santa Claus, Steve. Nobody knows where he, he hides out in that North Pole, so it's best for them, the professionals, to handle the job. And the best part, you know what the best part is about this, Steve? I have no idea. There's no postage required on these envelopes. Ah, even better. They're going to take them to Santa for free. Oh, I see some people I recognize here. This must be the Sheboygan JCs coming through. A couple stragglers. Merry Christmas. Oh, they really do a nice job of putting this parade on every year. Yes, it is a good service to the community. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. And it looks like we have a little, little break before our uh, Grand Marshal comes by. You know, it's far away. I'm sure the camera can't pick it up, but uh, you know what? I see the big guy. He's back there waving. I see him. Well, he's got to make sure he waves at everyone. That's the one great thing about Santa. He's going to stay here the whole time until every little boy and girl gets waved at. <laughs> and big boy. I, I, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for him to wave at me also. Oh, I know it's taking so long, Steve. All the boys and girls want to get up there and get a piece of Santa. That's what's taking so long. <laughs> I suppose so, Chad. You know, maybe if the post office want to save a trip, they can just give the letters <laughs> to Santa right here, huh? If they stick around, yeah, maybe. You know, with the price of fuel on that sleigh, I mean, you might have to... Uh, 